So the javelin kind of has its own life. It doesn't really care about anything. You shoot and you hope it kind of goes for what you're aiming for. So we kind of just are aiming for this tank. Directly sort of finds a path into the turret of that tank, knocks it out. All right, howdy folks. Welcome back to Call to Arms and welcome back to another video with the Warfighter mod for Call to Arms, which is basically something that I cannot play without anymore. The developers of Call to Arms did an okay job. Uh, I feel like I've ranted about Call to Arms enough. The Warfighter mod, amongst many things, adds better effects and also voices for your vehicles, for your soldiers. Another thing I wanted to check out, because I did do a video with the Warfighter mod already, where we played as German Special Forces, but what I didn't get to do there was to see some vehicle-on-vehicle -vehicle combat. Today, we are playing the fourth mission in the U.S. campaign with the Warfighter mod, which you, by the way, find down in the description below this video. I'd highly recommend checking it out. It makes buying Call to Arms worth it if you haven't already. To just make sure you get it on sale and then with the warfighter mod you're gonna have a pretty damn sweet time now the javelin in the warfighter mod is a little weird it doesn't really work the way you'd expect it to you don't just lock on to something you kind of just fire and forget now we're gonna just fire this and see what happens with it okay <laughs> Oh man, okay, that's that's a great start to this video. I, I actually did enjoy that part. The javelin just had an absolute fart and that truck got destroyed. Okay, well let's get our guys a little bit away from the APCs. But this mission I think is even hard in vanilla, like unmodded call to arms because you don't really get a lot. You get these two strikers, which is an MGS and a regular, or you can get a regular striker and a Mark 19 with a 30 millimeter, 40 millimeter uh, grenade launcher on it. And that's pretty much it. And when you clear, I think, four or six of these red zones in the map, you do get an additional vehicle, a whole Mat V with a 50 caliber. Yes, they're being very generous uh, when they give you a 50 caliber Mat V to deal with tanks and BMP3s. Now, what we're going to do first, though, I'm going to show you what happens when this BTR just gets absolutely destroyed. We're going to shoot the hell out of this pickup truck, although we are losing our commanders and gunners because it looks like they've actually sniped some of them out. But we should be good here. Maybe point, click, adventure. That destroyed the ammo dump. Now the tanks are coming in. We are going to need to get these crew on board because we don't have much crew. I need to grab some other crew in here because that 50 cal shot straight through the side of our MGS. And we do have some vehicles approaching. And I'm hoping to show off the javelin in a second. But first, I really need to take out these tanks. The tanks that rush you in this mission are absolutely ridiculous. And if you don't take them out in time, you're just, you're dead. And I think we may be in some trouble here as the top turret machine guns on those tanks. There's a javelin that just flew out. Don't know if it actually did kill one of the enemy tanks. That one is alive. So we're going to try to see if it's reversing into battle. It's a very... Oh, javelin's coming out. And I... There's another tank behind it. Switch to the thermals. We want to get a. We need to get like an instant shot on this tank, or we lose this. There we go. He's down. I think javelins. Actually, the javelin might have just taken down some of the enemy tanks. And I'm hoping there's still ammo left in it because I really want to showcase the javelin. Is there still ammo left in this guy? Okay, there's still like three rounds left. Perfect. So the javelin kind of has its own life. It doesn't really care about anything. You shoot and you hope it kind of goes for what you're aiming for. So we kind of just are aiming for this tank. The javelin directly sort of finds a path into the turret of that tank, knocks it out, and we have just stopped an attack of one, two, three, four T-72s, I think. I think that's it. There is one here that we're counting. It has actually got hit by a javelin. You can see the ammo and everything's cooking off the turrets. Half. Actually, the turret's still on there. Surprised we didn't see a turret explosion so far, but the day is still young. The day is still young. We've survived the initial onslaught. I'm kind of, uh, I want to apologize for having to just jump right into the action there, but this, uh, this mission is kind of crazy, especially when you have to immediately fend off an attack by almost half a dozen enemy vehicles. Oh, Javelin's coming out. That's a tank. 
Where did the missile go? Missile just completely ignored the tank and went straight for... Oh, I love that. The thing is, we don't have a lot of ammo left in this striker. You don't get a lot of ammo from the start. Oh, Javelin's coming out again. Let's see, let's see, let's see... Where... No, you're going for the wrong... Oh, God. You're wasting your, your life on, on crappy... Okay, this is gonna be... We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Got him! And that is a kill shot. Javelin, I think, still has one... No, the Javelin's out of ammo. Oh, man. Is there any ammo we can grab somewhere? Ray Griffin, by the way. I don't know. That's a very particular name. But now we've just knocked out another T-72. And we even knocked out a couple of, uh, of enemy trucks. So the Javelin being used on a pickup, even though it has a gun, kind of feels a little underwhelming. But you can see the Javelin in action. Sadly, that may or may not be all the ammo we're going to get for it in this battle. But at least we saw it knock out a tank. The Javelin, just from what the developer told me, kind of has its own mind. It doesn't really care where you want it to go. There's no targeting. You just click and then hope that it goes after the thing that you're you're aiming at so when you're playing this mod for yourself uh, keep that in mind it's just a very cool thing that they added the javelin to this game and also people are gonna be like oh why are you not playing a fog of war normally i would play with fog of war but call to arms has the weird fog of war system where you're actually not capable of seeing what your units see there is no like field of view there is no idea of how good or how bad enemies are hiding in or in or nearby so if anyone ever decides to mod it in i'm the first person that's going to play the hell out of it with fog of war turn on is that guy <laughs> they have the 50 cal so good but because it doesn't work it's really frustrating and it ends up just being a giant delay option where you're terrified of going around corners because you don't know has my guy seen this corner do we know there's nobody there do i just that guy right there? Oh, he just got set on fire! Was that an incendiary round? And there's also a lot of things that I'm missing from Gates of Hell. The whole, like, hold right-click to drag to d more cover. The whole uh, hold right-click to sort of fan out your units and stuff. There's a lot of things in, in, Call to in Gates of Hell that I miss. In... Oh, there we go. I was about to say, we're going to snipe this... Ooh, sniped him out really hard. Can we shoot that... Oh, damn. Okay, thermals are so strong. We cleared another location. We have to clear two more. And then I believe if we clear two more, we do get that Mad V, which is going to help us. But I don't know if it's going to help us a lot because it's kind of stupid getting a whole Mad V, which isn't really effective against any of the things we've seen here other than obviously some of the infantry. Oh, but just shot at something barely... See what is that? What am I shooting at? Some sort of V. Is that a BTR? Oh, it's just a techie. Okay, let's reload. Ooh, I could repair this one. We could use a T-72. I might just leave some of my infantry here. So why don't we grab a support crew? I'm not even sure what the support crew does. But we're just... How many crew is this? So three for this. That's good. Oh, what just exploded. Hopefully nothing bad on my end. Oh, oh, oh. Go back, go back, go back. I know what that is. It's just something shooting at me. Let's push back up. Actually, let's use smoke screen. Now use thermal. He can't see us. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, that's awesome. And I think there really isn't much back there. Here, the thermal in, in Call to Arms oh, is very strong. Whereas we're trying to press all the buttons at the same time. But I was trying to get to the thermal button. And <laughs> we just roll up here like some Chicago gangster. Oh, there's a freaking truck that, oh, it's just a truck without any, oh, my thing is just getting absolutely destroyed by a techie that I think, there's a guy right there. Where did his techie go? Thermal? Oh, hello there, sir. <laughs> God, it just, it doesn't really get old. I mean, it is a little strong. Oh, what? What just happened over here? Everyone just died. Oh man, the humanity. Okay, well, this is not going good. Is there another medic in here? Because we need another. Oh no, there isn't. It's just a single medic. Okay, well, at least our tank is up. Again, our tank, their tank. That's just a truck. We're good. And here's our whole Mat V. Like I said, the 50 caliber Mat V, which is just fantastic. Something we really needed on the battlefield. Okay, that's kind of frustrating, sir. Okay, there we go. I don't know why they would give you a Mad V. It's like we've been dealing with enemy heavy vehicles. The medic, though, could be nice, but I don't know if this guy is going to be able to rescue anyone. 
in time. I don't know if I lost lost anyone, and this at the end of statistics will kind of lie because it won't actually tell us if we lost anyone. Because what'll happen? Uh, is that a guy sitting there? Oh, it was a guy. What'll happen is anyone who goes down counts as a casualty. It doesn't matter. You could lose one person a thousand times. They'll, it'll it'll count as a thousand deaths every time, even if you keep healing his ass. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm getting shot. Oh, there's okay. There's reinforcements coming in. Uh, cover. Okay, we've got BMP, a BTR-82, and a terrain. I mean, I'm happy I managed to rescue most or all these people that went down. Striker, reload, reload, and reload AP. We got four shots. It's not that bad. As I say that, I get stuck on nothing. Danger close. What's happening? Danger close. I hope nothing because I'm not... I didn't call anything in. That was a quick shot at that BMP. I don't think we killed it though. BTR. Oh my god. It's this damn techie shooting at us. Okay, we got it. Is Was that it? Oh, there's a techie right next to us. I'm afraid of them having like anti-tank guys inside. Damn, stopping the guy. Oh no, oh no, BMP, BMP. Oh, I tried to pop smoke. I did, but I think that's gonna count as a loss. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh, they just kept on shooting it. They didn't even try to be nice to me. They were just like, we really don't want you to be alive. Take our squad leader out. Put this uh, soldier inside here. Okay, tell me that you're gonna kill it, right? Like, oh, my guy just died. Medic. Are you gonna kill this thing? Oh, this is night vision. We don't want that. And now it's actually using our sort of smoke against us here. I don't even know where this guy just went. You are pulling up. Okay, that... No, you missed again. Oh, there we go. Oof. Oh, I just lost an entire... Oh, not again. Alright, Medic 1. <laughs> and Medic 2. Man, Humvees... Actually, I don't know. Humvees are cool. Mad Vs are maybe cooler than Humvees, though. I guess Humvees obviously have... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you're thinking I can drive through a bush. Clearly not. Is that a guy? If it was, he's dead. That's a guy. The thing is, the having a remote weapon control system, the RC RWCS on top, is just so strong. They can't really do anything. I think they have to use an RPG to kill you inside here. Uh, oh, and that's gonna be it. Just a quick look. Again. Oh, he. What? That I just took an RPG. I took an actual RPG in the Mat V. I did not know that was possible, but I did. And that was just a quick look. Spray and pray always works. Quick look at the Warfighter mod. I hope you guys enjoyed a video like this, and I plan to do more content on the Warfighter mod because it's like called to arms the way I think it was supposed to be. It says we lost 27 men. Don't agree with that. We did lose one vehicle. We did lose the MGS. Uh, but the MGS did a good enough job. It just got absolutely pummeled by that BMP too before I could even do anything. Actually, it got kind of pushed out of the way, which obviously it didn't die like this. But we didn't really lose. Let's take a look. Can we actually see? We lost two guys here. And then I'm not seeing any other yellow spots. So maybe our real casualties were only about, say, two to four instead of 27. We did lose a lot of guys going down, but we kept getting them up. I guess even a 30 millimeter auto cannon round hitting a, an American soldier can't stop them. So we only lost two guys out of the 27 that it claims we lost. It's not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next.